Hello everyone, my name is Nona98Ben, and welcome to a showcase video of my 27 Iron Golem farms I have constructed. And there actually goes one on the left there. This was a huge project, and I did this so we can get as much iron as we possibly can before the Village and Pillage update, Minecraft 1.14 is released which should be in the coming days or weeks it's probably less than a month out by now but this was a huge project this took me probably I don't know 20 hours of game time to build everything and then twice as much time to get all the villagers up here and it was a ginormous project and as you can see if we come down here and look down I have three stations on each tower and on top of that it's all in the spawn chunks the spawn point is right at this middle tower and I think these villages the center of the villages have to be 66 blocks apart so they're each 66 box blocks apart and then 70 blocks separate the ones um, top to bottom on the towers I could have built nine more underneath this but I would have to dig down quite a bit and that is something I did not have a lot of time for when it comes to getting as much iron as I possibly can before they nerf the Iron Golem farm in the update. So if we actually head down here, and you can see the villagers there, we'll head down this pillar here. We can head on down and we can see just how crazy this thing is. And I have my depth strider boots off. I should probably put those back on. But I'm not even finished with everything here. I have it mostly done, but there's still a lot to do just making everything look pretty and all that. But like if we come into this little room here, we have it to where the iron golems will fall down, they'll step on the pressure plate, and they'll suffocate, and the iron will go into the chest here. Quite a large project indeed though. And then I have this for every single Iron Golem farm. And I even have pathways for um, connecting them all together. So like they've come over here. And we should have about the same amount of iron in here. But I find that the best Iron Golem farms actually is this corner one here. This center one. Or not center one. This one here. The center one is the best one. And this one's a good one. But it's kind of strange that they're not all equally... Um, the same amount of iron. Some will get more than others, I've found. I mean, 27 is a lot of iron golem farms. And this isn't as good as the Iron Titan, but it's it's pretty pretty darn close if you were to do this on a bigger scale. Like, this is 27. I think the Iron Titan is 64 villages. This is 27. And I think if you really wanted to, you could build, you know, 9 more and make 36. And then if you... Since this is in the spawn chunks, the uh, these iron golem farms will be going all the time. So I can be out in the world doing anything else, and these will all still be running and kicking in. But if I built 27 or you know, 36 more in another part of the world and AFK there, I would have 72 of these iron golem farms, which would just be incredible. That would be the best iron farm in Minecraft to date. But unfortunately, this is going to be buffed and we can't um, use it anymore. But this is uh, JL2579's design. And this is a very old design. Like this is right when Iron Golem Farms came out. This was des the design that came out and most people still use it to this day. And this is proof this design still is good. But it kind of gave me the idea of why they're actually nerfing Iron Golem Farms. And we know it's because of the, the Village and Pillage update with a bunch of new stuff they're adding. With the villages and redoing trading and all that. But this Iron Golem Farm is very overpowered. Like The amount of iron you get from just 27 of these is really impressive. And we'll go take a look at that in just a second. But it's like... I had to take down mountains, like this mountain here took about 4 or 5 hours to mine out because I don't have a beacon yet, so I had to do this all in survival, which was 
very difficult to do. And we come into here. We got this one here. No iron golem on here. But I have them all connected so I can walk to each of them and have a distinct path to get there. So that was another mountain I had to take down to build that one. And we come in here. This is like a little maintenance hatch, but it really isn't much maintenance. Just really basic redstone. It doesn't take a lot of it, a lot of energy to use it, so it doesn't lag you when you're around uh, in other parts of the world. And the, I think the last, the last one I built was the center ones, but the first ones I built were over here. And I'm this will, like I said, this is in my Let's Play uh, series, and I'll have this episode come out in a few days. But if we take a look at this one, this one is also a pretty good one, and. We come inside, we'll look at it. A little bit of iron. And occasionally, zombies will walk in there. And that's why you're seeing some rotten flesh in here. The zombies will, will walk in and attack the zombies and then figure out it's not too ex successful. Which becomes a little bit of a problem. But uh, this is like my base of operations right over here. And that's where I've been doing my AFKing. I did two 18-hour AFK sessions to see what I could get, and this is the iron I had before I did the AFK sessions. This was one 18-hour AFK session, and this was another one. And then these are the poppies that are the respectable amounts for each one, which it, that's a really impressive amount of iron. This is 17,490 iron ingots right here. And then this one here, the second AFK session, was 17,135 iron ingots. And I believe, if I did my math correct, I get an iron ingot every 3.7 seconds. One iron ingot for every 3.7 seconds, and that escalates to about seven, not sorry, not seven, 900 and 70 iron an hour. That is quite a lot for a really basic farm design. And a farm design this old. But those two 18 hour AFK sessions were a success. I have a lot of iron now. I've got probably close to three double chest fulls, and I still have a few more blocks at home at the base over that way. But I mean, this is what I had plus five stacks of blocks. What an impressive amount of time that went into this and amount of iron that I've already gotten in just really two days of AFKing. It's like, wow. And sometimes we'll get two iron golems in one, and I don't know why that guy's jumping. He's not going to get away with that for long. Like, this is the most successful iron golem farm of all of them, the fastest one anyways. There we go, he stopped jumping now. Now he'll die. But it's like, I went ahead and built these paths. I'm happy with them. I actually, while I have King, I had Lightning Strike. Strike this bridge here. And it was burned. I had to rebuild the, the bridge. And I've been very lucky to not have very many mistakes on here. I have these all double thick on the bottom. So that uh, the water doesn't drip through. But on the one right up there on the top, that one is only one thick. And that's the only one I made a mistake on. And it, it's too late to fix it. The Iron Golem farm still works, so I don't really feel like I have to repair it. And also from here, you can see all the other Iron Golems and the other cells. And this one just died here. See the Iron Golems die, and that'll all get picked up, brought into the chest, add to the count. And then you can see that guy dying over there, and you would see one there if there was one. But I could also go into here and see another one, which we don't see one right now, but I'm, I'm really proud of this. This took a lot of time, and I think this time will pay off in the long run until the 1.14 update arrives. This is the last hurrah for Iron Golem Farms. But anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.